Sorry. Yeah. How are you? Um, I, I'm doing well in some ways, and but I kind of just think I've got a like a an exhaustion cold flu from probably everything, you know, mm -hmm. uh, from the surgery and then my, with my son. Um, right, right, right. So do you tell, think? Tell, tell me how you're feeling. Tell me your symptoms right now. Let's just my explore. eyes, my eyes are pretty bad. They're um, very dry and they keep getting crusty. You know, almost like when I did have COVID in December. I even took a COVID test because I felt that badly. But so I just, uh, let's have you do a couple of things. Like, um, uh, you, you know, when the eyes are real dry, I mean, sometimes you just want to keep them hydrated. Like, just get some of that saline solution. You know, the saline solution that's the eye drops from the like the drugstore or whatever. It's it's not just saline solution. It has a little bit of a lubricant in it that's good for your eyes. And you know, until your eyes kind of bounce back, it, it actually can be very helpful for that. And so. Um, uh, just like a, maybe a couple of times a day, just keep your eyes hydrated because it, it, it can make the difference. So like it makes them less blurry. It just, it makes them function better. Anytime there's an eye issue, I mean, the first thing is hydrate. And then the, the mucusy stuff that can happen, like the crusty stuff, um, you, you know, a lot of times that's tied to like liver function. And one thing that potentially can work is a couple of drops of peppermint and water and drink it uh, daily. You know, you could do it in the beginning of the day, middle of the day. Um, I mean, you could do it at the end of the day. I just, I, 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 I don't like people to do it like right at the end of the day because peppermint is really relaxing to the, um, uh, like this little muscle um, in the in the top part of the stomach and it relaxes it and if you take it at the end of the day then when you lay down some of the stomach acid will go up the esophagus and so I usually say like you know maybe by four or five o'clock don't take any more peppermint okay you know but during the day it's fine like because it'll wear off by then but if you take it like right before bed uh, you know yeah yeah might be a full night or off and on. <laughs> well, you'll just wake up with like a like kind of a irritated throat and have to go <clears throat> like a lot because the you know you basically are causing heartburn. You know, well, could it could it be massaging that scar tissue that's creating because sometimes I get a bit of a sore throat too. Um, could it be just some uh, of the coming out of all that? That's possible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, so would stay with the heliochrysum do i ever take that internally i mean i know i take you, it you can um for, for this it's like more more topical but like it, taking a few drops internally does stimulate lymphatic function reduces inflammation you know loosens up the spine like we were talking about um you don't need to do very much but you know, a lot of this is just to like topical and okay. how is it going with the scar i'm just curious um well uh it, it's I think it's doing overall pretty well. They said that they wanted to hit it with a, a laser at the end of August. Um, yeah. And they were, he was pretty impressed that it's, you know, healed as it has. It's mostly um, where that hematoma was. Right. Um, right, that's right. still a bit hard. It's not horrible hard. I, I find if I use um, a hot pack on it, it really yeah. seems to work well. Then massage then I switch over to ice and then I do the helichrysum and other oh, things. Check you out. Yeah, yeah. So I, <laughs> I've, I'm really learning a lot about um, that. I mean, for the first time in my life, you know, really taking care of something like that yeah. by myself. I've done it on horses and other people, but right. not so much right. myself. Um, and then, um, but like basil or rue, what are those for? And can you take, and no basil you can take internally. Yeah, don't don't take rue well. internal. Yeah, rue okay. is a little too potent to take internally. Um, okay. But rue is very good for dealing with conflict. It's very good for like cutting and releasing from like negative people or negative situations. And it's also good for um, helping to um, like like in the middle of the stress response, you know, like the stressful thing happens and then you're going, uh, what does this mean? How's, how's this going to impact my life? This means this, this means right. that. Rue, Rue is really good for that stage of the stress response. It's really good for that. So in a way, it kind of is calming to the, the adrenals, but more, 
like in conflict. Like if the adrenals are super overactivated, uh, it's okay. But like if you're in the middle of a conflict and you need to calm the adrenals down, it works good for that. And kind of so, clarification, like clarification a little bit. Does it clarify? Yeah, it, it helps you to look at the situation a little, a little more clearly. Like, you know, basically it makes you a little bit less reactive and just go, well, what does this mean? Because at first you're like, you know, and you go to like horrible places with it, you know, because yeah. it's, it's upsetting. And then as you sit with it, you go, well, it's just probably means this, or sometimes it's even like, well, maybe we'll wait and see for 24 hours and see what's going on. And, you, you know, rather than just re reacting. And so um, it can be very, very good for that. Um, you know, just inhaling it through, like out of the bottle is is pretty potent like that. Like that's usually about all you need to do. Like you oh, really? inhale it for 15, 20 times. And, you know, if, if you need a little longer, that's fine. But um, yeah, don't take that one internally. It's just, um, it, it, it even can be a little bit irritating to the skin on, on some people, you know, not often, but a little bit. And um, yeah, like if you get into like a really hot bath, like a really hot bath, sometimes your, your body will, will react to an oil that you put on your skin normally and it's fine, but in a hot bath, the pores open up and your body becomes a little bit more sensitive. Rue can be a little bit irritating in a really super hot bath. And so, um, usually I do like a medium temperature if I do room. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And then and, what was the other one? What was the, the other basil, one? basil? Basil. Basil. So basil, um, uh, basil is very good for offsetting the effects of stress. Um, uh, very stimulating to the mind, very stimulating to mental faculties, helps you to cognitively process. It's antispasmodic, um, good for the digestive tract, good for the nervous system. Um, does reduce uh, the stress response somewhat. Um, yeah, I mean, you can even use it like, um, uh, I, I use it a lot for when, like if, if we suspect people have food poisoning, that's my first go-to thing is basil. Wow. And so um, basil does a lot of things, yeah. yeah. Um, and it, like if I bump my arm, would I go to basil? Like last night, I really whacked the heck out of my elbow. You know, one of those- Put right, the helichrysum on that. Yeah. He, okay, helichrysum. Yeah, yeah. And then otherwise, Basil, I can take um, internally and I oh, can yeah. put it on straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you. Basil Excellent. is super good in like all its forms, all the, all the different applications. Thank you. I'm, I am making friends with lots of them. <laughs> so okay. I'm going to take some time. It takes a long time because I've got more than I can keep up. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> But I'm learning. Thank you so much. I so appreciate if, it. If the hematoma area doesn't go down, like it, it's going down, right? Um, yeah, it's just got, it's just still a bit um, thicker than the rest of the areas. And there's one other thick area that just, a, it's much thinner though. The, the hematoma, you I can feel a little bit of a. I, I'm, I'm going to think out loud to Samantha here real quick. I wonder if the lovage would actually help that. We're going to do a little experiment with you, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, I would be very curious on that because, you know, that is a thing with uh, hematomas. And, you know, usually we just do helichrysum all the way through. But, you know, what we're finding with the lovage, it does so many other things. We're going to send you like a little body tonic thing and just rub it on that spot. Still do the helichrysum, but let's see if we can't detoxify that even faster. Like it just pulls things out of the tissue and helps the body to metabolize it, you know, just get rid of it. And let's see, I, I'm, I'm curious, this is more of an experiment than anything. And so we'll just send it to you. Thank you. And, and just yeah. put it on straight. Just rub it. Um, we're going to make it into a little body tonic. Oh, so cool. just shake it up and just rub it onto that little spot. And let's see what that does. Not so much for the scar tissue, but the that thickening area, that thickened area where the hematoma was. Excellent. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. And thanks. I, I, I'm doing it more out of curiosity.